Mississippi State apparently runs man. D, and I don't know why they would do that, but Birch is going to just light it up. They're probably 200 yards plus. Um, Hawks probably 45 to 7 final score. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that should cover the spread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We just got all the panels and decoys set up, and uh, it's about 6:30 right now. Sun's not coming up till about seven or so. Early spec season started last week here in Arkansas, and uh, from everything we've seen, it's just been a really, really good early season. And uh, we're getting the chance to come out here. Had a buddy, Jake McNulty, call us and uh, say that he had a buddy with a lot of geese. So we came uh, and made the drive all the way to Stuttgart this morning, Dry Lake. Our buddy, uh, Kendall Hill. And uh, it's just a buddy hunt, just a bunch of guys. They, they run an outfitter here, but uh, they had some clients cancel and uh, we're getting a chance to come in here and hunt. But have a little more confidence coming in this hunt than we did uh, last time with Jake. But he didn't let us down. Hopefully he doesn't let us down this time because you know he, he's kind of known for that, that little gar hole deal that, that we talked about. And uh, hopefully he's gonna, he's gonna have a little more redemption this year. But we're gonna finish getting set up and the uh, sun should be coming up here shortly. Shooting boys. That was nasty. There's a live feed out in front of us, a couple hundred. Kendall and his dog went off after them. They wouldn't get up. They finally did and came over here and circled around us for a couple minutes and then we just absolutely just crammed them right there. I was up close and personal. Scratching at him? I did. Oh, walking. Shot. Ha, ha, ha. 
Well, coming off a of bye week, um, team finally getting rested. They had a hard stretch of games there, coming down these four final games. Um, I think they're going to be uh, more energized. Uh, you know, we've been struggling getting to the quarterback, and I think with a little help, uh, maybe that four-man front we're going to run this week, we're going to put some pressure on Will Rogers because you notice the Kentucky game, uh, I mean, what do you got, 36-39? He stood in the pocket all day. So they would make throws downfield. That short passing game they like to do. Get a little pressure on the quarterback and mix in um, mix in some run game. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Take care of business. It's going to be good to be back home. And how much um, film did you watch last week on this? Uh, absolutely none. Yeah. Uh, this is all. This I'm winging this as we go. Yeah. That's what you got to do sometimes. You know, you can't you can't devote every all your time into this stuff. Did you interview Barry Odom about the four man front. Yeah, we we talked a little bit about it last week. Uh, I told Kendall Brawls that I really. <laughs> I think we need to start running more vertical routes instead of this horizontal stuff he's been doing. Uh, use our speed on the edges. Hope we get Burks the ball. I bet he's going to have a couple touchdowns. Mississippi State apparently runs man. D, and I don't know why they would do that, but Burks is going to just light it up. They're probably 200 yards plus. Um, Hawks probably 45 to 7 final score. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that should cover the spread. <laughs> yeah. Take it to the bank. Hey, how many units are we putting on it? Um, What's Taking our, a loan out? Yeah, we bet the farm. I mean, that's, that's how some people like to word it. Did your dad give permission? Yeah. No, he did not, but we're just going to take a sign off on that one. <laughs> Power of attorney. Lock of the week. Lock of the week. Oh. You got me? I got you. That's a wrap on pretty much our second hunt of the year. Here at Dry Lake Outfitters. We made quick work of them this morning. We had nine, maybe 10 guys and shot, shot our limit in about 45 minutes. So we're headed back to Little Rock, uh, getting ready to do some deer hunting this weekend. Can't thank Kendall enough and Jake enough for giving us another invite to come down here if you're looking for a place to duck and goose hunt this year, check out Dry Lake Outfitters. Kendall did a great job this morning. They had a crew hunting in panel blinds, had it set up real quick, real efficient. Everything went smooth, and they've got birds for days down here in Lodge's Corner. So, yeah, check them out. Uh, I'll drop the link below for their website, their Instagram page, as well as Kendall's cell phone number. So, if you're looking for a place to kill ducks or geese, Dry Lake Outfitters. So, thanks again. Uh, check our website out if you hadn't already. We got hats, shirts, hoodies, 15% off right now for our fall sale. And uh, follow us on uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, the whole deal. So appreciate you guys again, and we'll see you on the next one.